The shoulder is the most frequently dislocated joint in the body due to its wide range of motion and relatively shallow socket. That makes it more prone to instability. In this condition, a bulge may be visible in the area where the humeral head has moved. X-ray is typically necessary before trying to reduction. It shows us critical information about the nature and severity of the injury. As you can see here, the humerus head is obviously out of its normal place. Monitoring the patient before reduction is necessary to assess vital signs and check neurovascular compromise. Generally, we must ensure the patient is stable and doesn't need any urgent attention like uncontrolled bleeding and shock. Here, the humerus head is obviously visible on the skin. Pain management before reduction is necessary before reduction to reduce pain. Our choice of medication depends on the severity of pain and the patient's condition. Using multiple sedation therapy is rare and just used in severe pain and under very controlled setting, like in this patient, because it can lead to respiratory depression or sometimes cardiac instability. We use three sedative medications in this patient, midazolam, fentanyl, and propofol. We wait for a few minutes for medicine to take effect. Now the patient should be placed in a comfortable position. It is usually lying supine. Now we bend the elbow to 90 degrees and gently rotate the arm outward while keeping the elbow close to the torso. As you can hear, it can be really painful sometimes. <laughs> After the reduction, we should assess shoulder symmetry and range of motion. And also a post-reduction X-ray is necessary to confirm alignment and ruling out other fractures. In the second x-ray, you can see the humerus head that is correctly reducted.